hello and welcome to our presentation today we are going to talk about the uh, knuckle joint for tractor tiller we have designed this component in our solid walls as you can see there this is the uh, part which we have designed in our solid walls so uh, we are going to present this topic uh, and in this topic we are going uh, to uh, in detail we are going to talk about this uh, part so why do we use this part why does the designing and uh, knuckle joint is very important for tractor tills so uh, let's go to our next slide so as you can see here this is our table of content at first we have to define the problem then we have to do some assumptions then critical component i mean that what will be the critical component of our knuckle joint after that we have to do like whether it is a steady state or transient state I mean the design or the part which we are designing either we have to do a steady state analysis or a transient state analysis after that we have to do a scope of FEA like why does the FEA should be done on this part then we have to do the tangential force required when the tractor trailer tractor trailer is accelerating or when a transition force is required when the tractor trailer is deaccelerations after that we have to do some steps of uh, our uh, FEA I mean at first we have to do pre-processing then processing and at the end we have to do uh, post-processing okay uh, we have also have to show our steps in ANSYS workbench and in the end we have to show our conclusion date that this is what we have achieved in our uh, in uh, achieved in our design okay so let's move to an introduction so uh, in introduction as we know that tractor trailer is used to transfer or move goods or materials or anything from one place to another uh, to connect a tractor to a trailer we need knuckle joint so uh, so so that's the reason i mean that's the introduction of our uh, product okay so let's define our problem so what actually is the problem as you noted tractor trailer is used to transfer or move goods or material or anything from one place to another to from, from one place to another so to connect the tractor to the trailer we need a knuckle joint tractor trailer is useful in, uh, equipment as we all noted especially in agriculture field uh, and it is also used for carrying a large or a heavy amount of goods to connect tractor to a trailer flexible knuckle joint is used so uh, and so the so the so the main uh, part of this whole definition is that we need a kind of material especially a knuckle pin that should be used that should be carry that should be able to carry a uh, load from tractor to trailer okay uh, now the next part is during the acceleration of tractor force acting on the joint is tensile and during the accelerator it is compressive so we have to uh, to do finite element analysis on knuckle pin because the maximum force of stress is generated on knuckle pin and that's the reason the knuckle pin is our critical point okay so let's move to our assumptions so as you noted in every engineering design we have to do some assumptions like uh, i mean uh, for finite element analysis so the first assumption which is material is considered as completely isotropic the material which we are using should be completely isotropic the next is material is considered as completely homogeneous i mean the properties is uh, constant throughout the uh, throughout our component okay this is our critical component as in the first slide which we have, we have said uh, this is our design and this is our knuckle pin and the force is applied over there so let's move to our critical component slide so this is our uh, critical component why this is critical component wh or what is a critical component so let's explain this that what actually is a critical component critical component is the component on which the force or the maximum load is maximum so uh, that's the uh, correct explanation of critical component uh, okay a component or, or we can also say that a component where force and load is maximum okay so uh, 
this is our knuckle pin and this is our uh, critical component so let's move to our next slide okay here we have to uh, define either either our analysis uh, is a steady state or a transient state so first we have to uh, explain that what actually is a steady state analysis and what is transient state analysis so in steady state analysis our part is not moving and our part is at constant place like the force on it is constant while in transient analysis our part is uh, like moving and the force on it is uh, like um, and the force on it is like not constant it is variable so as we know that on knuckle pin our uh, as on knuckle pin the force is uh, changing from point to point so uh, it is our um, so the force over here or, or the state over here is a uh, transient state analysis in, in the next slide we have to uh, explain our other two components uh, or our other slides let's stop over here or otherwise the video will be much lengthier so see you in our next video